But I'll say one thing. A violent battle was pretty freaking badass. Chase Lihaki here with the Blue Fruit Futon. Not going to try to speak French. Chevalier, Chevada, solid as a rock, Chevy. What's this movie about? Pretty <laughs> Okay, it's not called Chevy. So what is this movie about? Pretty simple premise. We're in the 1780s, 1790s following Joseph Blogan. Bl- I'm saying his name completely wrong because like I said, I'm not French. I'm not in that part of the world. But we're going to call him Joseph, our Chevalier, or Chevalier, whatever it's called. But, you know, we're in the 1700s. And you know what? He's a great composer. He knows how to play the violin like no other. He's a swordsman. Apparently he was a soldier, but you don't know that from this movie. And this talks about his, you know, I'm going to say his beginning teenage, 20-year-old, 30-year-old, you know, endeavors of what occurred in France. So, do you like this film? I thought it was an okay film, but I think it was too melodramedy for what the story could have been. So, when we talk about the positives, you got to start off with the acting and the production design and the costumes. When we talk about the acting, I think Kevin Harrison Jr. has a fantastic job in the read- lead role. I am curious about if he was the one actually playing the violin because I'm a sucker for, like, have you ever heard of the band Apocalyptico? Fantastic freaking cellos, violins with rock music, fan freaking tastic. So anything that has a violin in it and that battle, violin battle off with him and Mozart in the beginning was freaking awesome. Like, I could listen to that for an hour and a half and I think that would be a better movie in my opinion. So everything like that is fantastic. Samara Weaving does a great job. Everyone else, other, every other one of the side characters, fan freaking tastic. Like I said, the look of Paris, France, in 1780-1790, looked good, gorgeous. I completely enjoyed that part of the story, as well as the costumes. Just it was a fun, brought me back to the past. What looked, what looked like France at that time of the world? Because who the hell knows what it looks like except from the pictures. So when you take the technical aspect. The actual story itself of him maybe trying to get this opera going, his composer side of the story, I was really, really intrigued with that. However, when we turn into the melodrama with him and Samara Weaving's love interest, the baby issue, when his mom comes into the picture, it to me, it falls apart. So let's kind of talk about the actual story. The whole story itself is about him kind of rising through the ranks and being friends with Maria Marie Antoinette, uh, the Queen of France, and how it kind of disintegrates with things that are happening with the liberty, you know, eat cake too, no one in France is eating, only the rich people are eating. So you have that storyline, which is like kind of sprinkled in to be pretty good, but when you have this love interest of Samara weaving, who's the baby, baby daddy drama, baby mama drama, what's going to happen to the kid, that kind of falters me, like to, just, just like, Give me the story of him, of the realism. I know they're saying history was a race and they only could find what they can because Napoleon got rid of the composer's music, Joseph's music. Now they're slowly starting to come back. It's like, oh, what did he actually compose? So I understand that aspect. But if you knew for a fact he was a composer, a director, a soldier, let's get that storyline as well. Let's focus on like the revolution and be like the halfway point and what did he do to fight Napoleon because he says he was the leader of like the only black brigade in the war. Show that storyline, please. Don't just give me a text of that. I don't need to see this love interest thing that we don't know that's ever was true or not. We truly don't know, do not know. And then when his mother came in the picture, it was fine and dandy, but there's something that really like bothered me is where the mom saw like, oh, you've been hanging around with the white people too much. Come to the black part of town. Literally, that's what it was. And it, to me, it was just like, so you're telling me this Joseph character who's been in France since he was like eight years old, never knew about this part of town. Like never was like, oh, let's see what's over here. Because his friend was also a revolutionary that's trying to like get, you know, liberty and freedom for everyone in France. So you would think that that part of the story would be more prominent in the beginning of like, hey, wait a minute, there's this part of town. Why don't I gain some musical influence from this? But it's mostly part of a thing that's basically like the mother's like, white people, you've been around white people too much. Come to the black part of town. It was just like, this feels off and just like not connected with the rest of the story. I was like, that's a total misfire. Like, I understand what you're going for there to like, you know, the roots of your African roots and things that happen in Africa and they're migrating to France. 
but just it didn't fit with the story when you're trying to like follow that with the baby mama drama what's happening to the kid and then the whole revolutionary part with him you know fighting with Marie Antoinette it was like way too many like subplots going on and it was just like okay time out let's figure out as much as possible his real life story of composer director soldier what did he do to help France and the people of France? But it really doesn't do that. And it's just like, it was squandered overall. So overall, Chevalier, Chevalier, I'm not French. And also the other thing is there's this part where he's like, we speak French, like, speak the French tongue here. And I'm like, but the movie's in English! Ah! But anyway, I think the acting's good, the look of the movie's good, and some of the, you know... The production design is really good, but I think some of the dialogue and just the overall story, it flounders to what really could have been a good, good movie. So Chevalier, Chevalier, Chevy, I suck at France, French, <laughs> will receive a three out of five with futons. It goes at 60%. We'll see the critics' news scores gave this one. So the critics at 82% with 93 of them. Audience score 97% with over 100. Here's critic consensus. Supported by Kevin Harrison Jr.'s outstanding work in the title role. Chevalier offers an entertaining getaway into the incredible life of a brilliant artist. Not really. It doesn't... I wanted more of the composer side and the soldier side of like who he really was. But like I said, we wanted baby mama drama instead. 60, 82, 97. Chase Hawk with the blue futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the blue Thank you for watching. Great day. I'll give you watch this today, tomorrow, week from now, month from now, year from now. I love everything. one of you! And I have been to France. I've been to Chamonique. Skiing those Alps. Freaking gorgeous. Have I been to Frank Paris though? I've been hearing mixed results. all saying Paris is great. Or you, there's no point in going to Paris. But we will find out maybe in the near future where I go.